Hi, everyone. My name is Frank Murphy, and I'm going to read from my book, A Girl Like You, which I co-wrote with my wife and best friend, Carla Murphy. It's illustrated by Kayla Heron. Kayla Heron illustrates all the books for Sleeping Bears um, Like You series books that I write. And I always have now, after A Boy Like You, which I wrote by myself, a, a collaborative author who brings a different dimension of diversity. And for this book, I needed a female. I needed a mom to be able to help me write this. And Carla was the perfect choice because she's the mom of her daughter, Haley, who's my stepdaughter and she's 19 years old. So, and every book from here on in will always have a co-author with me. Like a boy like you, a girl like you has end sheets and you can find little items um, here that appear in the book. So it's sort of like an I spy, it's pretty cool. A Girl Like You by Frank Murphy and Carla Murphy, illustrated by Kayla Heron. There are billions and billions and billions of people in the world, but you are the only you there is. And the world needs a girl like you. This is always one of my favorite beginnings to books because of the sea of people who look different. The world needs a girl to be strong and caring, to be brave and bold. Maybe your brave is running for student council. Maybe your bold is standing up for yourself. I really like this picture because I like how the girl looks. She has her, her fists clenched and she's not happy that these boys wet her and the dogs looks like he's ready to shake off all the water. Brave girl, try new things. Find your passions, find your talents. Work hard at hard things. Mistakes are essential to success, so stick with it. Whether it's fixing something that's broken, lifting weights, ice skating, or studying the moon and stars. I love skateboarding. I love that she's a skateboarder, and up here she has a skateboarding picture. I think that's really cool. Put your mind and heart into your dreams and make them happen. Sometimes you will fall. When you do, pick yourself up and try again. Each time you'll become tougher and stronger. Another illustration that I really love, I love how Kayla showed all the images of her just failing harder. It's a growth mindset, trying to get better and better. She finally does. Bold girls speak up. It's okay to disagree with people. Our differences teach us about one another. It doesn't matter how loud or quiet, tall or small, young or old you are. Your thoughts and opinions matter. Be clear about how you feel. Choose kind friends, friends who let you be you. Be a kind friend too. Take turns, share. Sometimes you'll fight, that's okay. Do say sorry when you're wrong or hurtful. Don't make a habit of saying sorry for no reason. When a friend is hurting, ask what they need. You might give advice, you might just listen. Sometimes they'll simply need you by their side. When a friend is proud or excited, celebrate with them. Thoughtful girl, thoughtful girl, have empathy. Friendships are like gardens. Tend them well and watch them grow. If you study this picture carefully, you can see, you can read between the lines sort of and look at the illustrations to inform you that her friend lost her cat because there's some cat toys and there's a painting or a picture of her and the cat. Smart girl, take care of your heart. You may feel bored or lonely or sad. Read a good book, volunteer to help, get up early and watch the sunrise. This is another one of my all time favorite pictures. I love how that looks early in the morning with the sun and how the sky looks like rainbow sherbet. Write a story, write your story. And if your feelings get too big, reach out, ask for help, talk to someone who loves you. Embrace and care for the body you are in. Your unique traits are what make you especially beautiful and especially you. What matters most is the beauty your actions and words bring to the world. People will remember these and you should too. Radiant girl, stand tall. I love this illustration because this girl is volunteering at a hospital and Carla, my wife, is a pediatric nurse for Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. So this is a really important page to me. Wear what feels right. Silly socks or panda ears, sparkly shoes or polka dot pants, a peace sign, a flag, a flower, a rainbow. So I teach sixth grade in a K to six elementary school in the northern, in the west, northwestern suburbs of Philadelphia. And I taught a girl the year I wrote this book named Frankie. Her name's Francesca. And she always wore um, panda ears every day. So that was a little homage to her. That's why we put that in there. 
Wear your, and she was, she's a very bold kid. I, I really love teaching her. Wear your hair up and wear your hair down. Pigtails or ponytails, all the way out, covered, or all the way gone. Your clothes and hair help you express yourself. So whatever you wear, wear it for you. Another one of my favorite pictures. I love this picture. I love catching fireflies or lightning bugs, whatever you call them, where you're from. Magnificent girl, be proud. Your smile can light up a room. Take pride in being the one and only you, unlike anyone else ever before. And remember, the world needs a girl, a caring and strong girl, a bold and brave girl, an unstoppable girl, a girl like you. And the end has an author's note about why we wrote the book and a writing activity. And that's a girl like you. And whenever I sign one of these books, for the most part, to someone, I always write to be bold. So that was one of my biggest messages for a girl like you, to be bold and to stand up for yourself. And you can do anything you want to do. Thanks for listening. I appreciate your time.